Talk to us a bit about church planting. What's your heart for church planting? What, what do you see church planting can achieve here in Cambodia? The Cambodian people looking for a new thing, yeah. including myself, yeah. which is the new hope that before in the past, there's no hope at all. And we can see the only hope for this nation is the gospel of yeah. the living God. Yeah. And because of that, we have the big, <laughs> it's a big vision yeah, yeah. to plan the largest church in Phnom Penh. And we start the mission work you know, which is the uh, take the church to the provincial, you know, city. We start in 99. And so until now, we got 190 churches already. 80% of Cambodian people live in the provinces. They uh -huh. live in the rural yeah. areas. Yep. And most of them live in poor villages. Yeah. And yeah. so when you say there's 190 churches, the size of a church here in a village is somewhere between 20 and 70 people. So tell us a couple of stories about what's happened in some of the villages where the church has been planted. How has it changed yeah. the culture of the village or the hope that it's brought to the village? So myself and Sota and uh, uh, some other people, you know, take the church plan mm -hmm. to the, this, country, uh, this uh, province called Kampong Thom. Then in Kampong Thom, have known as the province and have a lot of kidnappers. Mm -hmm. People kidnapped to get ransom. During the day, I walk from home to home. It sees people sick and pray for, for them, and they heal. It's people manifest by the demon. We cast the demon out. It's really fun, a lot of healing, a lot of miracles. And then at night, I do the Bible study. So this guy sitting way at the back, you know, at, uh, because of my Bible study, I got like 40 people. In the villages, when you want to use a restroom, you know, you don't have a proper toilet. I would go to the bush, you know, use a restroom. So this guy, he faithfully come to my class, just looking for the opportunity. If he sees me to go out and use the toilet, <laughs> he would go and, and take, you. yeah, <laughs> kidnap me, me to get ransom. But later on, three years later, I trained this guy and he become a leader. Now he's a pastor at his other village. And he came to me and crying. I asked him, what's going on? Why are you crying? He said, I need to tell you something. Three years ago, I made plan to kidnap you to get ransom. Yeah. He told me all the plan. I, I tell you, my heart, you know, <laughs> I almost have a heart attack. Yeah. It was good that Jesus stepped in. <laughs> yeah, Jesus stepped in. And that guy, yeah. that guy become a pastor, influential. Yeah, yeah. Since then, there's no more kidnapping in the yeah. area. Beautiful. There it is. This is the power, power of the gospel, of the gospel that yeah. transforms lives. Yeah, yeah. We got six regions in uh, Cambodia. Mm. We go out you know, every week from Monday to Sunday. And so we teach, we build, and we invite them to come to the city and our team go there every week. Yeah. We got like a Bible school all over the nation mm. uh, going on every month. Stay away, you yourself, Pastor Peter. Mm. And uh, you are a big help to this Cambodian church, New Life Fellowship of Churches. Mm. You are helping us and be helping others. Tell your people back home, you know. It's not a small thing. You bring what you taught us to share with the people. You know, we impact the nation. The thing is, they're the part of the vision. We want to plant these churches that have the same vision and philosophy. Mm. And on top of that, we want to send the Cambodian people out to the neighboring countries. <laughs>